Take a look at what's going they on. They got a disco on the south. They got a disco on. Disco on the They've even added a dishka. That might actually be a, a moving, uh, a mobile dishka here. Um, lots of smoke as Russia yeah, was trying to attack. Some, uh, high and high take a look. Fire, Mortar base the to the south. You can see Aethel there. Now, so keep occupied. And don't do anything too risky. Shikart, the commander, uh, in between. You can see that's where the uh, that's where the Lodgy ended up. Harp, you'll be able to push in where we're pushing in. So you can see there's a mortar here. There's also two HMGs for the mortar base. Brilliant position here for militia. It allows them to basically cover the access route into town. I mean, we take a look at this gun. It's not All manned right, right now. Effective. We're holed up in a building at this time. But anything that tries to make a run east to west here is going to have 50 cal being sent at it. The BTR is, I guess, up still? Yeah, I think the BTR is still up. There's a Dishka firing. I'm going to move the uh, BTR down to try to hit that. Mortar's a bit off. Um, and the BTR is going to go ahead and try to engage here. I guess they're going to swing around. You know, if they run into the mortar, that would be bad news. That would be extremely unfortunate if that were the case. Um, looks like militia have lost quite a few uh, their fighting strength here. But they are holding the objective building. This is where K9 is right here. That's the objective building. So Russia have to attack this position. And there are two squads running straight there. Yeah, I have no idea. It's somewhere southwest by west. Getting pretty close now. Dark Lord running right to left there on your screen. Gets shot up by uh, Don't Get Shot Nuclear Potato. The kills the BTR have? Good question. It's got six. And it's now got seven. Dealey got uh, taken out of the gun there. Looks like it may have gotten eight. Looks like Modern Death just got capped. And Shukart under fire at range. He goes prone and hides behind the, uh, hides behind the hill. I think Shukart just got hit. No, he's not, he's not hit. The mortar is still up and operational. Looks like, um, Aethel on the mortar still, just shooting, trying to, uh, figure out what's going on here. Alright, I'm too effective. We tried to escape the house and got slaughtered by Dishka and ARs. At least the BTR is going to be able to cut off the, uh, the mortar here very soon, but... Uh, Russian forces trying to link back up with the attacking force here, having problems. Of course, when we get closer to the... We get closer to the building here. Bunch of smokes being deployed to try to hold off. Yep, I'm still up. Uh, trying to get militia to uh, not see the Russian advance here. Russian advance. They just gotta cross the road now, and the problem is, Chap's got a great position. You've got nuclear potatoes still in this building. And then they also have to cross this road. Old Geezer and K9 are going to be able to stop Kyle and Big Idiot from crossing here. BTR may have just taken some damage here. It looks like an a uh, RPG in the backside. Appears to be still in one piece. RPG gunner died though. Aethel's gonna fire some more... There's some Aethel shooting that, but... Another RPG attempted to be fired at the BTR. Doesn't look like it hit. Alright, they're moving towards your guys' location. Uh, from your east, squad 4. At least 3 or 4 are 
All right, that one definitely hit. Goodbye, BTR. Looks like that was Neil's. So now Boogie and uh, Mighty are going to have to abandon the BTR. It's going to go pop here in just a sec. Boogie right now. Uh, how many kills did he have? He's got 10. It's pretty good for gunning in the BTR. And the uh, BTR goes pop. 21 to 25 right now. 25 kills for Militia. Unfortunately, they're just cutting down the Russians as they try to retake this position. I got contacts still directly east of me. And directly south too. Militia have great positions here. They're able to cut off the Russians from trying to do anything. Kilo just dies there. And Militia actually getting aggressive here on Patrick Star and Vader Centurion. Uh, looks like Oddball and Daniel. No, sorry, just Oddball. Oh, look, G-Man. Underhanding the grenade, uh, Oddball is. Uh, causes G-Man to bleed. But G-Man's holding the angle. Not letting anyone get at him. He is bleeding, though, so he's going to have to put his gun away and start bandaging. Soon. And I think he waited for someone to go away. Lima Bean is probably going to hear him bandage. And he's trying to look for a way in. He's not going to find one. So G-Man going to get away with it unless Lima Bean has a grenade. Lima Bean still hears him. Lima Bean going to run around. G-Man not going to be able to bandage and get his gun back out in time. Meanwhile, Grunt. Not quite sure Grunt, what Grunt was shooting at there, or if that was even could have been someone else trying to shoot at Grunt. Uh, 22 kills for Russia, 28 kills for Mill right now. Militia, a strong presence here. Uh, Boogie and Mighty are coming up. They're going to try to circumvent the Mortar Fob. You can see just what the Mortar Fob just said. All of the rocket uh, units at it anticipating the BTR showing up just like it did. Unfortunately, the BTR not able to stop enough rockets. Lion Bean took a shot at Grunt as Grunt crossed the road no, here. Contact, uh, southeast. He saw me. I think Lion Bean was still trying to take some shots there. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Big Idiot and Kyle... Yeah, I think no, 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 no. He's close, but he's not outside my building. Across the street. He's in the south, southeast direction. Well, the mortars were almost on target. I think their mortars were meant meant for this compound. Right now, um, I don't think there's a lot of uh, oh, bumping Turker is still up. They might have a chance to uh, get some kills here. It's actually amazing. They snuck past Mark S and Kingen. Lima being doing nothing but holding his uh, western side of the intersection here. Warriors on target there. Kills Grunt. That was a great volley for mortars. Bumping Turk, getting closer. More mortars coming out for militia. Alright, let's go to the next test. Lima Bean is sort of right here in the middle. Front, front, front. Enemy. Kill. Okay, hold fire, hold fire. Alright, good. Let's go. One more. Spell. Did you get killed inside the house? Did, Did Vader get killed inside the house? Uh, I'm not sure. All right, let's keep moving. He's definitely hit. I must have missed when Vader died, but if not, he he got killed to a mortar from inside the house. You good? All right, I thought it was you guys yep. getting hit. Uh, big idiot Kyle taking shots at the I'm building see, yeah. here. 
He's in the second floor, I can see him. And Turk just got killed. Bump is uh, returning fire. Looks like they were able to kill one person upstairs, maybe? Uh, Geezer and K9 are up here still. Cross, cross the, the road to the south with me. On the move. Big idiot and uh, Kyle want to take another angle at this building. You, sh you should have a shot into the top floor there. Oh, they want to throw a rocket up there. Fragment hit it. Back left, back left, back left. Clear. Oh, uh, the door or a window? A uh, door. Yeah, that got one. You I got saw him. blood, I guess. Old geezer. I heard a scream. In the wrong place at the wrong time. Ball, push in and clear that house. Now there's only one person in the building now. Oh, look at Bartok and Ahapa. Big idiot gets killed by Sugart through the window. So... And Kyle gets killed by Appa. Uh, it's down to Mighty and Boogie. Uh, Mango coming up from behind. I think he just got shot, question mark. Oh, Aethel getting shot at by Mighty and Boogie here. Yeah. Aethel has the bandage. Don't forget about the guys in the fields. Yep, 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 yep. I think these are the I'm last two guys. Him. Am I missing anyone? I think Bump maybe still be around. Or not, he might be dead at this point. Got guys in the wood. Getting close to the end of the They got here. HMG! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take over, take over, take over. Great shot there on Niels. And Boogie's climbing up on Aethel. Yep. He's got Aethel at the rights. And now he's gonna shuffle around here. Kills Revy. Boogie doing some work here. Uh, enemies that are close. Actually, no one. Uh... Mighty's still up, and Boogie is still up, and I think that's it for Russia. Against one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two v seven. I found the radios that they dropped over here. Let's still got the guys in the town, northwest. I'm getting on a gun. And Mighty's gonna cover okay, Boogie. so we have to clear those guys out. I don't want to take too long here, but I would like to farm them if they come out. Copy. Don't stand up. Whatever you do, don't stand up. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Hmm. No chance. No chance, bro. Hmm, this is kind of a pickle. He's I don't want to drag this out too long. <sighs> we are the only men. That is great. Yeah, I know. That's kind of why I feel a little bad. Uh, Some I repositioning going on here down, by Militia. That's all we can do. Yeah, this seemed like a smart idea until they got scared. Cowards. Ooh. Oh! Wait. Is someone else still up? You know where that was from? Southwest West. Okay. Is that an ND? Probably. Probably. I thought I saw someone die. All right, fuck it. I don't want to drag this out. Let's... Yep. Let's run up the this fence line here, I guess. Pray and for me. They, uh, yep, here's killed, the fence they want. Oh, yeah, I got so... one HP, so... Nice. Mark might have a shot. Oh. And it looks like he... No, Sugar oh, from the building. They're bad, but they're bad. They're tell them so bad. I'm alive. Changing. Bandaging. I got shot one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that was Sugar in the second story of the objective building. Okay.
Cross here. Cross here. I'm Got watching. Me. I don't see anybody. I'm across. Okay, we have to get to these vehicles, I think, right? That's what we're fighting over. Yep, they shot me. Okay. They're Sugar, are running, Sugar and Kingan are running this direction. Couldn't see which one. Uh, it's in between those IED marks. Oh, I wonder what they're doing now. Just on this road. Okay, I see it. It's that sandwich building. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's just stick to the north of this here. We can vault this wall, I think. Yeah, we can. Sugar might have eyes on them. We vault this, maybe? Yeah, we can. No, Sugar's yeah, looking, oh, yeah. there's a, there's Sugar's a looking south. Cool. So maybe Stick he won't have side. eyes. Ooh. Sounds like one Actually, guy. Actually, let's, let's just Let's just run around the outside. Yeah, I don't know how many guys. I've only heard one guy shooting, so I, I don't actually know how and many And they're there still are. clearing south. Shikard and Kingan move out south, um, and they're looking okay, south in their southwest. Wonder what that shot was about. Maybe another uh, negligent discharge. There's probably a guy in there and another guy outside of it. At least. I think that's where I was being shot from. Yeah, okay. that's it. Not Pushing a lot over. of overlapping fire here Got for me. the defense. It's a little yellow building. Bartok might yellow. actually. Yes, blue one. Bartok right. might have little, seen that. Vault over this wall. Bartok might have seen these guys. Bartok's going downstairs as uh, Mighty. And Boogie make it across. Shook Hearts running yeah, back over let's here just now. Get around south. Cool. And we'll take the fence. Here. Bartok is outside. Looks like the building to his north, uh, north of, of the objective building. He's going to hold it for people pushing in from the outside. Shook Hearts running this direction, looks like. Yeah, so let's take this yellow building right here. Nope, looks like the he's looking straight. north Can now. It? Jumping up now. He's gonna be making some noise. Go full auto. On already. Okay, I'm one health, so I need you, you're gonna. I, I need you to bait me. So I'm gonna go in first. I need you to trade a kill. Copy. So nuclear I, potato I is the only trade. one in the building. Bartok might have a watch shot on the door hold from up. here. Hold the, hold the window. I'm gonna watch the corner. Copy on it. Here it goes. Mighty's coming Safe. up and around. Uh, and Bar and it looks like Mighty and Boogie got shot from behind. Uh, I believe that is GG. Twenty-nine kills for Russia, thirty-six kills for Mill. An awesome job there. We will be right back. Hey, uh, everybody, listen up! Um, everybody, listen up! It is uh, it is Evan's birthday, so we're gonna sing Evan a quick happy birthday while we oh, wait for nice. the to get here. Where is he? Uh, nice. So. Uh, I don't know where he's at. Having get on the road. He's right He's in the VTR. Oh fuck, he's in the VTR. He's in the VTR. No, he's not. No, he's right there. He's right here. No, he's not. This is your birthday. Right here. On me. Alright, ready? Happy birthday. That sounded less like Ooh. singing and more like uh. Oh, free, free, shadow play was off. All right, brief, brief. Oh. Comms, comms, it's on stream. Comms, 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 Fucked with them at pretty much every turn, and we destroyed them whenever we found them.
So yeah, pat yourselves on the back without glitching your hands. And uh, let's move on to this round. All right, so what we're going to be doing, we're going on a big-ass patrol, a long walk. Um, we are going to be reconning the various points that are marked on the map and then setting up an observation post, a.k.a. a FOB, and Oscar 523, which is the final point. Um, the way that we're going to do this, Oddball and Ronan are going to be providing flank security. Ronan will be providing the southern and eastern flank. Uh... Oddball will be the northern and western flanks. Um, K9 and Aethel will be responsible for the main recon, or the center recon element um, that will be clearing towns, uh, being covered by the BTR, and also uh, with just, you know, mass infantry. Does anybody have any questions about that? I'll ask them to set up the rest of their force accordingly. And we have emotes usage in... Was Grunt in that... Was Grunt in the trash can? Did Grunt just crawl out of the trash can? Or maybe that's a recycle bin. No, it looks like a trash can. Grunt, if you're listening to this after the fact, you're not trash. No! Why? Why are you doing that to yourself? Why, Grunt? Ah, looks like uh, Harv has found himself. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Stand by. I have to listen to the comps for this. Come on. Right, oh you no. You've passed basic, it's common sense. Shall I teach you where the sign is? Alright, here with K9, you're moving west right now. West of us. Someone has to. Slow, smooth, smooth, quick. Tally ho, gentlemen, tally ho. It's very racist. The fuck, you, the fuck you say? What is that voice? What kind of accent is that supposed to be? Let's go. Here comes okay. BTR. Looks like some folks are in it. It's about fire teams worth of folks. Uh, BTR. Looks like uh, Blackbeard in the turret. That's Chap is me. driving. Bartok's in the no, uh, no. observation. I live in Switzerland. Edge off, edge off. That was IIT. They're all weapons free. They are inside the multi story building. Me. And they have eyes on in the multi story building. They all stay here. Yeah. Correct. They're in the multi story building. Crosshot 9 2 9. MG in the window. Pull up the BTR. Get ready for fire support. We gotta take this. What was that? Give me AR. Give me AR. Alright, I'm calling up the BTR guys. Get ready to push on this fucking Whoa. Jack. Whoa. Two is in contact. Looks like a rocket at range. Oh, I think they tried to. Uh... Oh, so they tried to uh, stop them from retrieving the vehicles. Looks like Bump was able to grab. I think Bump was able to grab the Dishka. No, that's the SBG Techie. Great move there. Looks like the Lodgy is not down. It's still up. Shots inbound on bump. Looks like the Russians might have some sh a chance to take some more shots here. Razor runs out into smoke and grabs the Lodgy. That's great news for militia. That gives them a little bit of firepower now. So I would expect to see the mortar fob go up any second now. Two squads moving closer to the multi-story that militia have intact here. Just a couple guys. Harv is squad leading this squad. Uh, Grunt and Beware are in the building. Looks like uh, 
Thin Bones and G Man are um, outside. BTR has moved right up. And Russians shooting at the multi story. Rounds are flying off the side of the building. Second round right now. It just started, Skelly. BTR throwing rounds at an MG that was in the building. Rockets being fired in that direction as well. Yeah, you're too high. Here comes the SPG Techie moving north. Looks like the Lodgy's getting moved a bit over here. I imagine militia are going to try to throw their forces I think it's north in this town here, India 6, India 7. Yeah, you might be. Hold five for now. This is kind of a great idea here by Ronin to get forward. It allows them to screen this eastern side. Cuts this militia squad off from a lot of potential reinforcement. It cuts the most direct uh, routes off here. Because this is all open, sort of uh, sort of open hillside over here. Or semi-open hillside, realistically. Yeah, no, that's open hillside over there. And it looks like militia starting to fall back as Russia have made it to the multi-story. Militia have pulled this squad off. They're going to sit on the hills with the, uh, the ruined buildings to the north. Stray shots being fired. Maybe they saw something. Ronin squad continue moving north here. Oddball squad in the uh, west has broken off, and they're going to try to go around the uh, western side, get to the northwest of the village. Harv's uh, militia squad here holding position. They, they're just looking for buildings, looking for whole, uh, windows to shoot from. Take a look at some other positions if we see anything. And there's the mortar fob set up in Juliet 67. Juliet 67, India India 69. Right on right on the uh, uh the northeast side of this town. Shots far. Am I hearing that right? Wow, that's an MG shooting all the way up here. Uh, it's the BTR. I guess it's suppressing the school? Interesting idea. It allows the Russians to get inside. So the Russians are inside the uh, the school multi-story now. Nuclear potato trying to peek north up the road. Let's see Thin Bones with an MG. He's got himself a medium machine gun Harve over his shoulder. This is kind of a great position here. Nuclear or uh, sorry um Thin Bones might have shots on this force if they just come straight up the road. Wow! Great spot by Ronin. That gives a lot of information to Russian command here. J64, so... That is where that gives Russia plenty of notice about where they can expect F984. That was K9 calling out from the school building. Russian squads, uh, one to the west here, starting to envelop. 
Shots coming in now. In from the west as well. Looks like a fire team's moving up to assault. They need more infantry trying to assault this position. And yep, there's another fire team trying to skirt through some of these buildings here. This is great maneuvering here. A fire team just running straight in. G-Man and the Harv guarding this back entrance here. And Kingan and Mark S getting ready to run up on him. G-Man's got himself grounded here. Mark, I think, might have seen the Harv. There goes Harv. Squad leader down. G-Man kills Mark S. Kingan takes some shots at G-Man and wounds him. Is G-Man going to have the wherewithal to, uh, or the, the wherewithal. Is that the right word I'm looking for? He's going to have the presence of mind to throw a grenade back. Kingan definitely does. I think Kingan just threw a grenade. No! It was G-Man's grenade and Kingan put a tree in between him and it. Grenade coming out causes G-Man to uh, start bleeding again. Sebi just running up in this compound. Finds an outside wall. Russian forces starting to make some real progress here. Sebi a madman. Kills G-Man through a window. Might have some more shots here. I think he actually hit Hacky Macky in the blue building to the northeast. And Sebi has basically cut this up as the militia looks like they're running away. Vader gets shot at as he's uh, running away. Freestalker finds himself a great position here. He's got hit a couple times though. He may have been responsible for Kilo 9. And you can see the opposite side there. That's uh, Ronin's fire team. Destroying Thin Bones, not an NSA spy. A grenade comes in and kills um, this Russian that was close. Now it's just Beware, Hacky Macky, and Grunt. The only ones seem to be alive here. Hacky Macky doing nothing but watching the window. Uh, or sorry, the stairs. Grunt is just watching his door. Beware is the only one alive, and he's stuck in a bush in the middle of the hill. Unfortunate. Big shrug, what, what can you do? Hop off's gonna throw a grenade in. Bad nade, nade, run away, run away with Southeast. Run away with Southeast. No! Uh, two people to the bad nade. I'll ball down. Oddball got killed, but Grunt died. Can we just wait? Can we just wait? Do not push right. this. Bottom We're getting our push it. Carry through the, the floor. Top floor top just floor. wait. Top just wait. Yes. Just spray through the floor. Sebi's right. right. Sebi's right. A lot of spraying happening. Hacky just holding the corner. All right. I'm going to push one with me. I'm going to push go. one with me. Here one comes Sebi. Sebi I'm versus done. Hacky. Trades with Hacky. Unfortunate. And Beware is dead too. Militia have been cleared out of the first village. And it looks like we can now start to see what is happening with the next point. Bump and Candyland are moving out to the, uh, they're moving out to this intersection here. What are they doing? Are they just going to put some uh, mines up on the road? Question mark? Would be pretty smart. Great clear and assault here by Russia on this first point. Nine kills for Russia, zero kills for Mill. Uh, I think we're clear now, guys. The only casualty for uh, the only casualty for Russia right now is a uh, team ki uh, team kill. Technically a team kill. Let's take a look and see what these guys were doing. Bump and Candyland, I think, just put a mine in the road. Yep. So they put a mine in this intersection. Let's see if we can find it real quick. Russia are going to go ahead and take their time and breathe and then reposition to make the next push here. Let's see, where's this mine? 
It's in front of me somewhere, I think. There it is. Left side of the road. A little bit east of the main intersection itself, but sort of in this uh, in this turnoff that turns off north towards the village. Here comes the reconsolidation and the big breathe that uh, I was just mentioning. Shots right. far? Ronan, start scouting the swamps. Three, get scouting up on the north. I need to find Whoa! That MG was engaging Bump and Candyland. Great presence of mind there. Bump and Candyland had the SBG techie here. In the meantime, at the lumber mill, or the industrial park, or the plant, or the farm. I guess we'll call this the farm. There's a silo here on the tractor, so we'll just call this the farm. Yeah, we're hunkering down. We're in dips in the behind trees. So bumping Candyland. Candyland getting back up on the SPG. Nope, maybe not. SPG tech is going to go ahead and fall back. You see some militia here holding the, uh, the creek bed here. Redibus with his uh, MMG. There's that M269. 249, rather. There's the M249. Mortars. Really interesting that uh, Russia are trying to border rounds real close to hitting Sugar. Russian command to spread on those rounds. Russian command was right at the green tree. These rounds are spread out, probably engaging near max range for that mortar. You can see how far the spread is, a spread of about 100 meters, 150 meters now. It looks like the mortar is now walking west. Right where, uh, look at this cluster of, what's going on here? Russians are clustering up in this uh, little campsite here. And here we go, update, looks like three squad Oddball was running this thing. Now they're not anymore. Moved out to the north. And they're going to... I guess they're going to take the north side of the road here and use the embankment to screen the uh, the left side of the main rust here. Ronan has a squad moving east. And I guess they're going to use the ditches to uh, make more of a main thrust up the India file. And four is going to be following two, so one is probably going to be... I'm not sure what one is going to do. They're going to get in the BTR. So, now a little bit of a positioning game that Russia are going to play here to try to maximize their chances on this next point. As far as mines that are out there, only see the one here at Hotel 726. And hopefully the BTR won't be just taking the straight up frontal approach here. As far as assets that we can see here for militia in the town, more mortars coming out. The mortars are definitely in the town. We can see Dorf. 
I think Dorf's on the mortars himself. I think the mortars were a little short there. Mortars are a little short, maybe anticipating the Russians are going to move it, move it in the open. Skelly, I think they get more mines. They can rearm. They only have two scouts. I think they also have engineers. Well, engineers have mines, I think, for mill. So... Uh, yeah, they got two engineers, two sappers, so I believe... Maybe the engineers don't have the mines. I think the sappers have the mines, so... I'm assuming they get to rearm just like everyone else does. I don't think there's a limit to mine placement. Aside from the practical limit of them. Uh, obviously, explosives like grenades and uh, rockets and mines cost more to uh, resupply in the mod than they typically would in the game, in the vanilla game. A little bit of a uh, little bit of shifting going on here for militia. So they're holding the southern part of the village here, the southeast part of the village, next to the main intersection of the uh, the main uh, MSR here. A squad's worth of folks plus the um, SPG. Hearing uh, Russia command comms talk about they want a northeast assault here. So it's going to be generally a pincer attack. You see Dorf and Airborne there. Uh, on the mor Dorf's on the mortar. Uh, he's actually turned his mortar a little bit here. The spot that we want to get our radio down in is in Kilo 552, I think. Might, might kilo five two. have had eyes or ears on three moving across the road. Now... Malicious position. They do have some forces north of the road here. You see Atomic Peach and Fulcrum buddied out here, um, watching a tree line. This tree line sort of follows one of the main ditches that Russia might take here because the, which is the way that it, the, the cover on either side, or the concealment on either side, rather, and the natural cover of it being a uh, little small ditch. I'm guessing that they have so Fulcrum's gonna go ahead and watch this. Looks like uh, Kilo seven, village, looks like Peach has found himself a hunting blind. Probably in Juliet seven, maybe Juliet five, and Juliet. And he's gonna go ahead and uh, all that use this position for what it for what's worth. Take a look at the updates here. Two is getting closer. Uh, they might have to slow their roll here. I imagine they'll start getting eyes on once they move north about another 100, 150 meters here. Although I'm hearing shots. Maybe two is actually in contact right now. Yeah, so Ronan's squad is actually already engaging militia, causing some uh, shift here. A6. Oh. So Mighty and looks like Fight Milk. Yeah, so Mighty and Fight Milk able to throw some rounds out at a distance here. Or not. These guys were hi these guys are hiding now. So maybe they were and they just started hiding. Maybe uh Fight Milk was watching the road. Actually, that's kind of a killer position. You can see the Russians in the distance there. Mortars are coming out now. Let's see where those mortars land. I guess they're intended for for an squad. Yep. Ooh, the mortars are short, and a buddy team, a uh, fire team, almost runs right into them. Those mortars seem to be about maybe 15, 20 meters off of uh, Daniel Amarath and uh, Evan SMA there. It looks like they're taking some fire here. I think 
Evan got a fire team that uh, was on the uh, east side of the road starting to take some fire from range. Russians now moving east across the road. That's bad news. That's an HMG way off in the distance up there, man. Look at that. It's an HMG. It's a uh, Dishkoteki. That's just firing on the hillside of range. Mortar is starting to walk east here. It's going to cause Russia to have to push a little bit further east. Maybe a bit further east than they want to. Dwarf doing a great job with these mortars. Three still trying to sneak on the north side of the road here. We know there's forces up here act as a little bit of an early warning. Four is following in two's footsteps, so expect to see four beginning to get re-engaged here. Oh, mortar's getting close. These guys are lucky. I swear that mortar landed right on Raptor Force. Mortar's continually walking uh, east here. Oh, there we go. Amarath eats a mortar directly. The spread on the range at this point is massive, and it's probably one of the reasons why mortar just, or the mortar just got a kill there. Great use of the mortar here for Militia. Nine kills for Russia, four kills for Mill. More mortars coming out here. This squad is just doing nothing but running right now. I may even get as ballsy as putting you up on the overpass. I'm fine with Blood for the blood god. Blood for the blood god. Skulls for the skull. Skulls for the skull throne. Okay, enough. That's enough 40k. Holy no, shoot, it's, it's, it's enough Warhammer references. Three is found contact. Hold for group. India 5A2. India 5A2. Great heads up play there. Calls out. That's where Fulcrum was. Fulcrum and Peach. And there's an MG. I cannot confirm. We're fine, we're fine here. We're in the dip. Copy. It just means that we're spotted though. And this is for up on the hillside here. Kind of a little bit more obvious. Expect to see the mortars get thrown in this direction very shortly. Man, I don't know what it was with my computer earlier. It's actually kind of bugging me. Round one. Alright, squad one, we're gonna wait until you start engaging, then we'll start pushing east. And Bacon's gonna hold in position here. Yeah, pretty smart. Hey, two, get some uh, eyes on that. There's one in the BTR. Now, Peach okay. was a lat, I believe, so could have a Four, decent two, chance two, to get two, some follow on two, kills two, here, two, some excessive two, kills two, here two, with the um, rocket two, on the BTR, two, but that's only if the BTR doesn't kill him first. <laughs> Mortar's landing close to a four. Looks like it may have been hit. Right behind him. Oh, the mortars are following pretty close here. And maybe the mortars are walking a bit further east. Four seems to be more spread out. Hey, they had us zeroed as they came through those swamps, so be careful. I lost them. And the mortars, uh, walking east. Doomtrooper saying, uh, further they get in the city space, they have to watch for friendly fire. That is true, but also think about this. The, the city, there's this hill. Everything's uphill from both sides from the, where these guys are approaching right now. Oh, look at this. Evan 
Oh no, Mighty! Mighty kills two! We walked right up into it, we walked right up into it. Yeah, that's a fucking ambush spot, dude. Try to get out of there if you can. Four, try to move around. Mighty falls back. Ronan, uh, goes ahead and, uh, bandages, and he stabilizes. No one else is around. They're gonna throw smoke. The fire team is gonna... The fire team that was supporting them is gonna come up here and, uh... They're moving through the trees. Kyle Fight Milken looks like digs moving through the trees. Maybe they're going to be just positioning themselves, waiting for uh, more infantry to come out here. Meanwhile, the mortars just a bit far. That one lands pretty close to silent there. And e and don't get shot taking shots at Fight Milk and Diggs. Mortar lands really close to Silent again. Oh, and that last one. Uh, the squad that's behind them. Pretty much getting told, don't cross this road or you're going to get shot. Or south of the road, so they're going to divert further east here. Meanwhile, in the north, um, Fulcrum and Atomic Peach... Still kind of yeah, holding their position, but they got a fire team plus bearing down on them from the north and the west. The BTR also offloading a couple of troops. They're trying to get more north of approach here. And it looks like the mortars may be for them in the north. More mortars landing here in the north. Alright, so I broke off my push north. I'm coming with four. Looking for the BTR. I don't Copy see it. You guys once you get south of the road. Provide risk security. There's the BTR. So the mortars were just a bit sh south of them. What was that? That sounded weird. Uh, by the way... And the mortars now going back south. Fire teams converging here, moving up on Peach and um, Volcrum. That was the hunting blind. A little bit of an LOD thing. That's the hunting blind there. There you can see it load in. Peach and Volcrum uh, hanging out here. That could have been the SPG taking a shot up, actually. And K9. Loses him and another guy. Fulcrum, Peach getting shot up. Fulcrum still trying to uh, send fire out, I think. Gets shot from his north. And now they're going to have to watch out for a little bit of a uh, friendly fire situation. But... Maybe a grenade getting thrown. Hopefully not too far. Mortars... Dwarf is going to throw some mortars at these guys. This could be a pre-play in position, and that could be bad news if Russia continue moving in. We're going to watch these mortars fall. Probably another five or... Probably eight seconds or so now. Mortars landing behind. Real close! Mango... I don't know how Mango survived that mortar. He's bleeding, but... He survived. That's an amazing thing. I think Mango was underneath... The hunting blind. Kind of incredible there. Two and four have reformed way to the east now. They want to try to take a more northern approach here, I think. Kills right now. 11 kills for Russia. 8 kills for Mill. Mill creeping up on the kill count here. And the mortars are causing this uh, combined force to split up. UJ Key gets lit up. Maybe Ertzi? Yeah, I think Ertzi, uh, with the RPK, may have gotten UJ Key there. More shots coming from the overpass. You can see that spray line. And another kill here happening. Yeah, I need. I'm gonna need. 
Nuke gets hit. Mortar rounds landing in there. No casualties from the mortar. Second round, walking them north now. Ooh, that one lands right next to Kingen. Kingen's still doing okay, but he's stuck. FTL smoke. Nuke Bacon. Bacon gets hit. He's got a bandage again, and Kumquat is also moving north again. Kingen just living right now by the skin of his teeth in this ditch. He's throwing a couple smokes here. Two and four, still on the east side, moving up. The fire team's moving close. One down, looks like uh, Big Idiot has got Bartok and Appa bearing down on him pretty fast, and there goes Big Idiot. As this was a squad attached to the uh, BTR, part of squad one. And these guys are still living up here on the overpass. I think Boogie's throwing some rounds this way now. Causes Bartok to go prone. Patrick Star and Boogie Godzilla Pro hanging over here by the overpass. A great position, and Boogie has anyone that wants to move up dead to rights here. Woo! That's a lot of action yeah, now. The BTR is moving east now. Probably going to support the uh, overpass push. Space out, mortars and and right here. without a lat unit here. Yep, mortars. That one landed really close to Bartok. If the mortars don't walk, uh, expect Bartok to get hit here in the next round. That one's getting closer. Bartok surviving. The rest of his fire team moves to the southwest to get out of the way. And, um... Bartok living. There's an HMG watching north here. Liberal Pundit might actually have eyes on this infantry. You can see Liberal Pundit. He's looking this way. He's got a shielded Dishka and some sandbags for cover. A very small target for Russians to hit. Two, four, and five. They're going to continue moving up. So I guess they want to use this. Uh, keep this close to each other. I guess they um, want a big yeah, north-south sure. attack here. You go west and go prone in trench. Far north, go back. Boogie still watching. Has a pretty okay, superior position. About ten meters. He's just scanning for anyone right trying to come up and over here. You two, uh, Bango. Confirm contacts. Boogie gets hit. Kilo five, five, two buildings. I wonder keep who did spacing, that. Keep spacing, we're holding. We're still oh, holding the BTR's here. going up against the Dishka in the north. So one of the three keep working up there. We're going to sneak in there and get that shit. If required. And that is the Dishka. Dishka dismounts. You're going to bolt to the next one. So Are they trying to hide? Radio. Looks like it's Viper and Silas. No one has AT. Multiples. I see at least two times. One, you can get your guy to push north. You can link up with three. I see a squad leader on overpass right now. On the southern ramp. Yep, I'm being an empty on this right now. Break, break, break. Sook, be advised. There is a SPG at Kilo 37. Kilo 37, we're about to get this. Not to get And the mortar finally kills Bartok. I'm guessing. Second uh, volley there, really doing work on where Bartok was. A little bit of a walk to the northwest there. Now, what I heard was... Blackbeard called an SPG up here, so... Looks like Silas, a uh, little bit of over-representation here. Kilo 3, yeah, so the SPG is actually, um, where is the SPG? Oh. And, uh, I guess Ronin Squad's starting to light up the overpass. Round's a little short here, bouncing up and over. Godzilla Pro sort of stuck 
on the embankment facing the squad. Hearing some bandaging going on here. It's kind of a bad position to be in, but you can't really move because you're just going to get spotted. Got Pro deciding it's time to smoke off. That smoke may have gone a little bit far, more downhill than he wants. That might not provide the cover he's thinking it, it want, it, it'll provide. Mortar's coming out here. Ooh, the mortars! The mortars hurting this fire team very badly as part of four. They're trying to fall back. Modern Death and Papa Bear take many frags from that mortar. Meanwhile, Russians moving a squad up in file right down the uh, trench here. And there's Russian, uh, there's infantry behind them. Fight Milk and Mighty moving up to assault the mortar location. But now the Russians are engaging infantry. These guys might just turn up right up this, uh, this trench right here and just nail a bunch of people. Copy. All the smoke's getting thrown in this compound. Russia want to take this compound out and use it as a base to move through. Boogie takes the head off Straight of the bank. Throw frags, throw frags. <laughs> Clear back. Fight milk. Putting the frag round in there. Clear. Fight milk and mighty are making moves Loading on the frag. squad four over there. I don't think they know they're there. Uh, oh my gosh. Fight milk and mighty. <laughs> Taking shots on. Papa Bear, Modern Death, and Iterix in the field. I got a break to take away those mortars where it looks like Rhaegar got hit by a mortar. Mortars going straight on the smokes. Ronin and Don't Get Shot get hit. Mighty takes some damage and falls back, question mark. Looks like they're going to fall back here. There's a fire team to their north, so I think they would have gotten hit either way. Mortar's still going out here. I think, uh... Boogie is still alive. He's crawling into the field. He wants to camp this, uh, fence line right here. Uh-oh. Ronan is not looking to his southeast. <clears throat> Ronan needs some mortar. Looks like Sugar also needed a mortar there, too. So that's Russian command dead. Unfortunate. Great mortar work here. from four more mortars coming out and boogie gets killed by a raptor force i think i think raptor force shot him inside the building and he calls it awesome work lots of training going on here uh fight milk and mighty still living on the uh the east side over here they're not falling back a lot um White Milk and Mighty, I think they're taking shots. Seeing uh, red smoke here, or orange smoke here. I think that's the, uh, I think that's a mill smoke. From a squad. No, it has to be a, uh... I guess it's got to be a, uh... Wait, orange? I guess orange is a mill FTL smoke. It's died pretty quick now. Fight Milk and Mighty still living here. Uh, 14 kills for Russia, 16 kills for Mill, so Mill have finally gotten back in the lead with that mortar strike there. Kills a squad lead and command. Looks like another, may have been another casualty over here. Who has command now? I'm engaging an enemy, uh, technical. Who's the last remaining squad leader? I am. And in the north, looks like Silas dies, so Viper and Adishka are the only ones left. Keeping the uh, BTR out of the equation, because I think the BTR believes that the, um, the BTR believes that this is an SPG up here, and there goes the SPG, there goes the Adishka take a pop. Uh, how far are we around? Probably about 30-40 uh, minutes into it right now. No, actually more like 50 minutes into it right now. We're starting to get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a conclusion very soon here. Russia have a little bit of a disjointed attack. 
they've uh, missed a few chances to really move in on the base. They keep trying to skirt around. The mortars are causing a lot of problems. And militia have reoccupied the compound here. Oh no. Fight Milk and Mighty. Looks like they just killed Papa Bear in the field. And I think uh, Mighty just died. Another trade. So the only real instances... Also, Maw Dog. What's going on, my dude? Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Silent is just stuck here in the field. He's got an entire militia fire team right bearing on him. They reoccupied the buildings. Um, Aethel has a squad. Pretty strong force here. They're going to start moving south here. I think they want to try to directly re-engage. Meanwhile, BTR is leaving. <laughs> the BTR has uh, destroyed the, uh, the technical and just got out of it. Fight Milk still... Making some kills, trying making some shots here at enemies. D leak, I think he might have been shooting at a D leak there. D leak's in the. Yeah, he's trying to suppress D leak right now. But what is uh, Fat Milk? I guess now he decides maybe I should be running away now. Uh, Winter mute, uh, Larix, and uh, is that over there? Neils, they're looking at uh. They're looking at maybe pushing west here. Fight Milk is doing everything he can to stop these guys from making any progress. 16 to 18, Militia up her hand by two kills here. Oh, the Mortar's gonna run into the SPG! Or the, the Mortar's gonna run into the SPG. The BTR's gonna run into the SPG here very shortly. There it is. SPG just took a shot at the BTR and it hit. SPG getting out of there. Looks like he lost the gunner. Is Razor dead or is he just down? Or is he... He might have, he might have bailed out to... Uh, get a shot here. Bump is going to go ahead and get in there and reload the uh, SPG. I think Razor's actually still up. I can't tell from here. No, I think Razor's still up. Blackbeard, if you can get a grid for that SPG, I can get my MG on him. Danger close, very close. Copy that. Bump is going to look through for movement in the uh, field here. Razor definitely... Oh, Razor was an RPG, so he got off. This is dirty. This is dirty. Razor reloads for AT. Boris continuing pushing south here. Looks like Fight Milk died. Silent pushed back and Fight Milk died. It's really potentially dirty, but the BTR could just like move away to the west and just start pushing south again. Um, the BTR is going to disengage northwest here. Razor and bump okay, meet so, back up. Bump and Razor are going to hunt the BTR? That's nuts. BTR still running north here. I think Viper's now trying to, uh... Viper's trying to get back to the intersection. Oh my gosh. Meanwhile, Aethel's squad looks like they're going to be, uh... making a move on the compound southeast of the intersection. We're going to move back over there. Try to increase my uh, move speed here. Got to fly back and forth like 700 meters to go from point A to point B. Oh my gosh. 
Mortars coming back into play here. Looks like, uh, let's see, where is Dwarf trying to shoot these things? Oh, I'm not sure about that. HMG engaging. I was trying to find where the mortars land. Oh, the mortars, maybe a little bit short here. Yeah, short by about 100 meters. Take a look at the uh, HMG position here. Got Lib and uh, Lib on the HMG actually gets hit. Um, he may have been shot from the overpass. Kind of crazy though, because look at it, he's got a shield of Dishka in front of him. There's really not that big of a target for anyone to hit. Although, given the elevation from overpass, you can kind of shoot over the sandbags, so... More leg to hit. Look at Kingen. Kingen's throwing rounds this direction. He's just suppressing the HMG. The mortars, on the other hand... Now starting to get a lot closer to the infantry. Landing just the other side of the roadway embankment. This is awesome work here. As Azure, uh, Aethel Squad beginning to move back in. Uh, Nihols takes down... I guess Fight Milk actually made it out. I'm not entirely sure. It's just Kyle, Patrick, and Diggs in here. And uh, Knee Holes. And looks like uh, D Leak gonna make some moves here. Enemy down. Knee Holes kills Dig. Diggs. Uh, Kyle and Patrick Star sort of holding the big entrance that's outside of their, uh, building. Oh, there's one one there. I see some. Nihols Enemy spots there's Patrick. No there's two of you. Oh, and oh, Kyle. Great work by Nihols. Although something tells me that some mortars may have just chewed through a couple more, uh, Russians in the back line here. Ooh, look at this. Alarix maybe getting shot at from his south. Foot scratch in the open. This hit crawls into the uh, the field to try to get some cover here. Gurwolf and Uncle Niner. Gurwolf's getting himself an awesome position here. If if uh, if Viltarix, sorry, if Viltarix stands up, he's going to get his head taken off. Militia, or sorry, Russia, a little bit disjointed here. Oh, Altarix. Uh, Uncle Niner, not aware he was there. Uh, Wintermute, putting some rounds out. Borderlands. Kills Aethel, that's another squad lead down. Ooh. d leaky knee holes just sitting in the open. They're getting extremely lucky right now. Dorf is just throwing all of the mortar rounds in this direction. That last one actually lands really close to d leaky knee holes. Oh! d leak eats one as he tries to get away from the compound. Tries trying to move it away. Militia is starting to send a fire team over to attack. Niels and Silent are just stuck in the buildings right now. Meanwhile, Winamo and Altarix. Wintermute and Altarix. Quick Scratch is crawling up on Wintermute here. Lots of fire, but I don't think he's looking for Wintermute. Maybe he is now. Uh, Wintermute, I hear some crawling around though. They're crawling up on me directly from the south. Russians spread out here, and it looks like the BTRs now come in. They slew all the way around the north, and it's coming to the east side, going west now. Bump and Razor and the SPG Techie are getting ready to get on the intersection. Are they going to go past the intersection? Or just get up on the intersection. 
Mortars are just locking down knee holes in silent right now. There's nowhere for these guys to go. But the mortars, if they just dropped about 50 to 70 meters, they could start getting kills on this squad here. Russians engaging uh, some of the uh, militia that were trying to cross the road. On your six. The break in the mortar sort of leads me to suggest that... Oh, they're deploying smoke. Uh-oh. SPG might not have seen where the BTR is going, but I guarantee you definitely heard it. And look at that smoke trail. Uh, pull everyone back. Pull everyone back. I'm gonna jump out for a sec. Bump and Razor looking for the BTR. There's enough of the cover in the field. Uh-oh, that's not good. Appa just went down to the north. Viper, close in. The BTR, or sorry, the SPG might have a shot on the BTR now. Yeah, I guarantee it does. There it goes, and there goes the BTR. A square on hit in the right side of the BTR, and there goes Russia's greatest armor asset, the only armor asset they really had. Do we still have comms with one? One, do we? Yeah. Razor and Bump ditch the SPG. Their work is done. It is now time to get on the ground and use their rifles. Unfortunate for the BTR that he wanted to roll back there. Obviously, the reason why is because there was infantry closed. Now, wait a second. Russians have put a radio here. Hold on a second. Let's look at the, uh, hold on. Let's look at the, the operation list here. Yeah! The Russians never needed to attack the militia firebase. All militia have to do, all Russia have to do now is move out east. The patrol route doesn't require Russia to attack. Bump and Razor and Viper now moving closer. They've caught a fire team moving north in the open. All along the ditch. I don't think they caught anyone with a bullet, though. Razor moving through. Imanaz might have a shot on him. Imanaz takes down Razor. Piper sprays through. Imanaz trying to shoot at tracers. That was that last person was close. Piper gets Imanaz through the. Uh, through the field there. Right. Oh my gosh. Meanwhile, Candyland clears knee holes out of his uh out of his hidey hole. Actually, if you can nice moan the there. Manage to get squad four to link up with us. It's gonna be a life save. Yeah, I'm gonna try. And Russia are Got disengaging it. here. They're moving to the last objective point. The last objective point is Oscar 5-2. Twenty-nine kills for Russia, twenty-five kills for Mill right now. Russia gaining ground. Even though they've lost the BTR, even though they're taking all of this mortar fire. They have disengaged. The majority of their forces now nowhere near. Revy, Wintermute, and Iltarix are stuck here. A fire team's worth over here. Two NMGs, a medic, and two fire team leaders from three have disengaged. And there's three left in the village here, and militia starting to move up. I think Revy just was able to get a hit here. I think Revy just planted a satchel charge. Because they're about to get stomped. 
smoke's coming out here from the from the militia. And Viper and Candyland coming in from behind there. We're gonna mute kills Viper with a little help from Iltarex. Bandage up, I'm gonna heal you. Wintermute has to bandage. Candyland is still behind. Here comes a here comes Dwarf on a uh, technical, probably one of the uh, Dishkas. Candyland just chilling. He probably hears that radio and thinks, "Oh man, they put down the radio here. They cleared it." Fuck, I missed. I missed. Some Nova running in. The rest of the fire team that's assaulting through the smoke Here's right south, now, moving south, in. South. Revy sees Nova. Wintermute kills Nova as he runs through the door. Here comes the rest of the militia force. Running after Wintermute here. We're airborne goes down to Revy. Uh, no. Revy's got himself a great position in the bush there. I don't think anyone sees him. They're just spraying through right now. This is this is getting this is getting really bad for militia right now. Iltarex goes down. Candyland peeks around the uh, the northern fence here. He's looking for more. He guaranteed. He hears Revy shooting. Liberal Pundit goes down. Revy. Here comes a grenade. Oh, and Revy eats a grenade. Unfortunate. I think that was Dwarf. Just tossed it right on the position there, and it's just down to Wintermute, holding the last point here. I don't think there's anyone else left. Uh, Candyland. I believe in you. It's all about faith. Yep. Wait, who's left? Come push back with me to squad three. <laughs> Candyland uh, takes advantage of a little bit of confusion here. I didn't know there's someone else alive. Who is this? Yeah, I'm He's been sitting in the field. Mango. Uh, leading, I guess, is one now? What squad is Mango with? Yeah, he was in one. Okay. So, that's it. So, Mango has to push back all by himself to get to the last point. Whereas, yeah, the Russians, right guess what? They're only about 300 meters away and closing pretty fast here. They won't have any supplies with them, but... They will definitely be prepared and holding the position, waiting for the rest of the militia to come. We're down pretty close here to the wire. 33 kills for Russia, 28 kills for Militia. For Militia that are left, it looks like four. Yeah, just four Militia remain against a, uh, against a team of... Looks like there's five Russians getting ready to get to the point here at Oscar 5-2. And then there's... Um, The sixth guy, the last in his squad, just holding here. Remaining uh, militia here, it looks like we got Dorf, Artsy, Candyland, and Your Nightmare. Dorf and Your Nightmare could definitely do this. Although I think they're out of mortar range. The mortar's over here in uh, India 9-6, or India 6-9. I mean, that's really on the edge of the range of this mortar. I think you're pushing it. I think you're pushing a click and a half. Probably more like 1400 meters as the crow flies between the mortar and the fire base. And Mango at full health, so he can move at full speed, but he is crawling backwards. I guess he's scared he's gonna get a run into. Right. What's going on over there, buddy? So what are militia gonna do? Did they push past you? Do we need to worry about our uh what? I have no idea, just post. Yeah. But... I guess it becomes a race now. I guess do Russia need to get this last radio down before militia dig it up? I'm not entirely sure. 
Dorf is in the building with the radio, and he's not digging it. Russia or militia are holding position here. Technically, I mean, going by the map, given where the firebase was for militia, Russia never needed to directly attack it. Now that they have this radio here, they can continue to the fourth point, which is what's happening right now. And there you go, from our event admin, uh, Russia completed their patrol, militia must retake Oscar 2, uh, Oscar, uh, Oscar 5, 2, 3. So let's go take a look at this position. That thunder? Okay. Or maybe some sort of explosion. But you can guarantee, you can bet that ru militia are going to go run back and grab something to, uh... They're going to grab a technical. The SPG probably still has ammo. Um... Looks like they've fallen back to a dishka. Yep, the entire militia force is now in a, well, that's a transport technical. So they're not going to go after the, they have the SPG and it's still functional. I mean, I would assess this SPG and try to use it. And Mango, no, they're going to roll past. Yeah, that is a transport technical, so no gun. And they're going to roll past the SPG. Maybe they think the SPG is not worth. I made sure to keep him alive, don't worry. Very good, very good. Russia have a medic. Right? They have a medic? Yeah, come quad. Take a look at these positions as the uh, militia uh, on the transport. They dismount uh, northwest, about 400 meters away. Hey, Yo, it's pretty good OP right here. I like it. Keeping us alive. Keeping the dream alive. That's what I do. Silence mounted up on this uh, bankment right here on the what stone about this wall. One? So you hear them or? Bacon in charge of the element here. Only medic out by himself. I mean... I don't know. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, it's 6v4 technically. Mango is out by himself. And he's moving back. He's kind of super anxious about it. Um... The militia, four guys left, are closing on this point. They're about 300 meters away now. Are you up and running yet? Or are you still crawling? I know, still crawling. All right, good. Kingen might have eyes. Kingen might have eyes if he looks to his uh, 2 8. Dwarf, I think, just saw him. Dwarf has got his. Dwarf takes a shot Big at Kingen. Kingen crawls back. You guys have contact? Yeah, we got contact 269 of us, northwest. Kingen gonna re peek it with Binox? Risky. Dwarf saw him at 300 meters. Dwarf sees him again. King gets hit. King gets dropped. That's what I'm, te that's what I'm telling you guys. Dorf can do this. Dorf and Dorf and your nightmare can do this. Candyland and Earthsea can definitely help. 
As far as the kits that they have, Candyland is a scout. So what weapon does he have? I think he's got a... I think he's got an AK. I'm not entirely sure what he's got uh, for a kit, actually. It looks like uh, they got spotted. Maybe Candyland. The left side of the tree. There's both of them. Two. Two nine five. Well, no, I can't see the tree. MMG deployed in the window. All right, come here, come here, come on. Maybe not a good. Uh, maybe not a uh, eyes on. Oh boy, this is risky. Come here. No, 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 don't peep. Your nightmare is set up. Look at that. Your nightmare's got an AR pointed yeah, this big direction. Brain. Big brain, big brain. Right, He's got an MMG, never mind. Dwarf's gonna talk him on the target. The Dwarf might have uh, seen... Silence actually Instead deployed over here. He might have a... Uh... This, like, top of this. If Silence stays here, he might have the double... Oh no! There goes Big and Batman! Gets knocked down <gasps> by your nightmare. And now we're even. It is 4v4. Only three Russians holding the point now. Two of them are off point. One of them is off point to the south. Mango is the only guy that really has Duke a chance to take the, the Russians from behind, or the militia from behind. Silent's just going to hold this position. I don't know if Silent can see Candyland, but Candyland sees him, and he moves back. Silent able to get out of there without getting hit. More shots being received in Silent's direction. Nuke might have a uh, chance, although there's a lot of concealment in the way. Oh, Dwarf might actually be able to see Nuke from here. I think your nightmare just got talked into repositioning. Dwarf's moving back. Uh-oh. Unfortunate for Dwarf, or rather for Mango. Dwarf is running towards Mango. There's a lot of concealment between there. Will Mango see this? Mango Ooh. sees him. What is he going to do? Is he just going to hold position or is he going to try to take shots at Dwarf? Dwarf's still running. Dwarf's gonna run past him to the north. And Mango's gonna go crawling forward. Where's Dwarf going? Is Dwarf going back for the transport? He might be trying to go back for the transport to get ammo. Militia holding position. And the Russians on the hill. Dorf will flank. No, Dorf went back for the transport. Now is... Mango going to take a shot of the transport? Transport's coming straight to him. Mango holding fire. The train was transport stop right in front of him. So I think the I think he moved the uh, transport up to just get ammo. Four v four right now, and Mango is in a pretty prime position to make a surprise attack. Oh, looks like Candyland got shot from range. Mango's still silent. Three militia left to four Russians. I wonder who did that. I think I heard an MG, so it may have been silent. Although, um, Nuke Dukem is also an MG as well. Kumquat has shifted position. He's in the building now, but he's looking through windows. Uh, where is... Alright, Mango is still 
crawling around the field. I guess he's going to try to link back up with the compound and actually bypass the bypass the militia here in the woods. Three v four. Come quiet in the building. Silent moved off the hill and he's going to move back towards the building now. Nuke is still on the hill. With Dorf and Nightmare right next to each other. Dorf's probably talking about the target. And here comes Bango. Got the militia 150 meters to his northeast. Mango's actually playing around with uh, getting out of the field here. He's got himself a nice bush. He wants to stand up and take a look around. All right, maybe he's just going to crawl bush to bush here. Militia still holding position. Nope. I lied. Militia on the move. Dorf and Ertzi moving east. And Near Nightmare is going to give cover. Might be a bit further north than what Nuke is looking for. Actually, Nuke has uh, defilade. Ertzi's moving around behind Dorf. So they want to get on this hill. And here, your Nightmare's also in tow here as well. Your Nightmare's going to switch positions for a more northern position. Dorf continues, continuing pushing here. And Nuke is still around this hill. Getting closer to in front of where Nuke is looking, but Nuke is repositioning slightly here. I think Silent just saw Dorf. Silent just saw Dorf. Dorf saw Silent. Silent hit. Silent down! Great shots from Dorf. It's now 3v3 again. Or rather, it's 3v3. Well, it hasn't been 3v3 yet, but I mean, you know what I mean. Calm down. Everybody calm down. It's fine. It's fine. Nuke is crawling up. He's getting closer. I think he can barely see his head through the... Uh... Yep, there he is. He's starting to get close now. I wonder if Dorf's looking this direction. He ain't. But he's using this defilade here. He might get your nightmare in the side of the head here. If Nuke is careful... If Nuke is careful about it, he might get Dorf moving across the field. Or he might get your nightmare right now. I think he's looking... He's looking at Dorf. Ertzi's dead. And Nightmare turns on him. Nuke takes down Ertzi in the middle, or Ertzi in the middle of the road, or in the middle of the uh, the uh, clearing right there. Your Nightmare turns directly, spins, and takes out his face. Your Nightmare hit and bandages to stabilize. And now here comes Mango from range. I don't think your Nightmare saw where Mango was shooting from. Mango got down pretty quickly there, but I think he's going to see him crawling around now. Yep, there goes Mango. So it's going to be Dorf and, Ming Dorf and Nightmare to take this. Kumquat is the last guy left. Russia now down. One versus two. Wait, where's Dorf? Wait, you took out Dorf. It is 1v1. Kumquat versus your Nightmare. Your Nightmare runs into the compound from the north. Kumquat is on the outside to the east wall. Or sorry, the west wall. Because I'm smart and I know my directions under the compass. Nightmare running in. Making a lot of noise. Kumquat running around. Sprinting. This is not good. Nightmare smart. He's going to hear this. Oh, he might have seen Nightmare through the wall. Kumquat, I def you definitely saw a nightmare through the fence. Nightmare might fancy getting to the compound now. He's going to climb up over the fence. Kumquat. Here we go. Kumquat takes his time. It's your nightmare. He's the last one. He's done it. Amazing.
Absolutely amazing comeback there for, Mo for Russia at the end.